I've got my example file open, cleaningupdata.xlsx. Now, we're going to record two macros. The first one is going to insert the row at the top of the list. It's going to add the headers, category, division, January, February, March, and the total columns. Then we're going to stop recording that one, and we're going to record a second macro that does the formatting. So let's jump in and record our first one. Now, something I'm going to do here just to kind of set myself up, I've got a worksheet for recording. This is the one that we're just going to record our two macros on. And then we've got our four worksheets where we're going to then loop those procedures through the four worksheets. But I want to be able to test my macro before I run it on all of the worksheets. So good little tip here. Before you try running your macros that you've recorded or manually typed out the VBA code, I would create a sample dummy worksheet and run it on that first before you run it on your actual data. This way, if something goes wrong, and there could be something that goes wrong, uh, we're doing it on dummy data, data that doesn't mean anything to us. We're not gonna destroy anything. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna create a copy of my recording. I'll hold my control key, drag it over, just create a copy there. And maybe I'll just call this uh, test run. Oh, not text run, but test run. There we go. And I'm gonna use that one after we're done recording to test the recorded macros. All right, back to my recording worksheet. So once again, I recommend you do that. This way you got a nice clean worksheet that you can mess around with. All right, now on our recording worksheet, we're gonna record our first macro. So I'll go up to my developer tab. Then on the left, I'll go to record macro. All right, so first step, we get to give it a name. Remember, we're gonna create two of them. First one, we'll just call this one insert headers. And that's good. We can give it a shortcut key if we'd like to. I'm gonna leave that blank because eventually this macro, we're not gonna run this one by itself, but we're gonna run it in a loop. So we'll come back to that. I'm gonna store it inside of this workbook and I'll leave a description, some notes in here. We'll say, uh, let's see, inserts a new row and adds the list headers, something like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. So now the macro recorder is running. Anything we do inside of Excel, it's gonna pick up and start to write out the VBA code for us. So first step, I'm just gonna click on row number one, just the row header there, one, and I'm gonna hit Control plus on my keyboard. That'll insert a new row for me. Now, just a heads up, if you're working on a full-size keyboard, something like this guy right here, I use Control and the plus key on my number pad if you don't have the number pad, you can do control shift equals, and that will add a new row for you as well. Just make sure that you selected the row header number one there. All right, once that's there, I'm then gonna click inside of cell A1, and I'll put in division. I'm gonna tab over, we got category. And then we got January, February, March, and total. I'll hit my enter key here. All right. So we've now recorded just a, a few steps there, inserting a new row and adding the text headers at the top of this list. Now that's all I want this macro to do for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. I'll go to developer and I'm gonna hit the stop recording button and I'm done. All right, looking pretty good so far. We've got our first procedure done inside of there. We're gonna take a break right there for just a moment because we're gonna, then gonna create a new procedure that then goes back in and formats that data. Now, a common question that I get at this point is, well, why not just record both actions, the inserting, the row and the headers, and the formatting all inside of one macro? Well, that's a great question, and you can do that. We could have recorded all of it inside of one macro. Why create two of them? Well, the nice thing here is, if something goes wrong, it's gonna be much easier to maintain and edit a smaller procedure than it will be to have to manage something much, much larger. So we've recorded our first one here. Let's make sure you got that nailed down. And then we're gonna jump into the next lecture and we're gonna record the formatting for this project.